Hello and welcome to Simplified Guitar, where my goal is to make popular songs playable for beginners by simplifying them down to a few easy to play chords and strum patterns. Now in this lesson I'm going to teach you the song, Will the Circle Be Unbroken? But before we do that, if you would like to learn the chords that I use for this song and all of my song tutorials, then you can get the Chord Family Cheat Sheet by clicking on the information card in the top right corner of this video at any point during the lesson. Now, let's go ahead and get started. The strum pattern for this song is very simple. We have four beats per measure, and for each one of the beats, we're going to have a down strum. So we have one, two, three, four, and then we repeat. We're also going to be adding two up strums. We're going to add an up strum after the third and fourth beat. Okay. Now it's important to remember that up strums always come between beats. So if I'm counting one and two and three and four and our beats, our down strums come on the beats and our up strums come between the beats on the ands. So again, if I go ahead and count this out and I'm going to add my two up strums after beats three and four, we have one, two, three, and four, and 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 one. Now to add some variety to that strum pattern, what we're going to do is we're going to just pluck the first note of the chord for the very first beat of the measure. So let's say I'm playing a G. The very first beat, I'm just going to pluck the first note of that, which is the low E string. And then we have a full strum for the other beats. So we have one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one. Another thing we can do is add emphasis on certain beats. So we're going to strum harder for the second and the fourth beat. And this, again, is going to help to add some variety to the strum pattern to make it sound less monotonous and robotic. So what we're going to do, again, is one, two, three, and four, and 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 one. Now, if I go ahead and put all that together, let me play it at full speed for you, just holding that G chord so you can see what it would sound like. I was standing by my Alright, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you want the chord chart for this song, you can click on the link right here. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and leave me any comments or questions and I'd be happy to get back to you. Alright, I'll see you in the next lesson.